Tesla just announced a massive update to the Optimus bot, which is just two months after their previous update. So let's take a look at the video. This is the official Optimus Twitter. So last year in September, we got the Bumblebee. That was the first prototype. You know, this is what it looked like. It was very like early stage, you know, as you can see, this is not, this is not ready to be in your home, but it's the first version and you know, it, it was still quite impressive. So then we got Optimus Generation 1. That came in March 2023, so nine months ago. So as you can see, the gap between updates is like seven to nine months. So, you know, you can imagine seven months into the future what's coming. So, you know, obviously this was the next big update. The design looks much more polished. Still the legs, you know, aren't... They probably shouldn't, shouldn't look like this, but, you know, it's much better than the Bumblebee. Like, way better. So this is the Optimus Gen 1 from March. But now... See, like this is just, you know, obviously looks aren't the main thing, like the functionality is what matters with these robots, but like this, this could go into production because like it doesn't have exposed wires and actuators like the earlier versions. And what's crazy is that just two months ago, we had this Tesla bot update, you know, two months ago. And, you know, this was a huge update because in, in this video, the Op Optimus did this famous moment where it self-corrected the cube like look at that that was that was incredible and it was mind-blowing so to see progress so fast in terms of robotics because like robotics you know compared to ai it's much harder because you're dealing with the physical world you have you don't have the same luxuries as you know d duplicating code and just like quickly developing software you need materials you need actual like you know motors and actuators that work and so like to see such a fast progress on robotics, I would say it's even more impressive than the progress we're seeing on the software side of AI. But dude... <sighs> so, you know, obviously Tesla does everything in-house, which is also why they are famous for missing deadlines. You know, Elon Musk predicted self-driving like seven times by now. And it's like, it's already here, but like, you know, it's not in every single car, obviously. So, but like this gives them a massive advantage because once they get something to work, they don't rely on any other company to, you know, slow them down or anything. So it's kind of a high risk, high reward strategy. But look at the movement, man. That, just look at that. It's so smooth. Dude, that... That hand movement, like, that's almost human-like. Look at the hand. Bro. Yeah, like, what is the next update? This is Gen 2, so what is going to be Generation 3 like? Like, if, if the trend continues, you know, getting a major uh, Optimus update every 7 to 9 months, it, like, we're looking at june july of 2024 like will that be now obviously as elon said on the joe rogan podcast the hardest part is manufacturing you know getting a prototype to work is difficult but it's not the hardest part so it will still be quite a few times like probably like three or four years at least until we the consumers can actually buy one but the fact that the technology is here for the robots to have such a smooth movements like man we really do live in the future yeah 30 percent walk speed boost but not only that the walking looks also much more natural than the previous ones just like you know look at this this is way more robotic and you know you can see how it's slower like this is the previous optimus generation one it's, it's kind of seems like uncertain when walking, but this one, 
seems seems like seems much more stable. But it's still quite slow. You know, 30% like it's barely noticeable since it's walking like I don't know, like 2.5 kilometers per hour. But once it reaches like I don't know, four, five, six, you know, the average human walks like at like four or five, depending if you're walking quickly. So if it can walk like at five kilometers per hour, then that would be sufficient. Obviously, like the question is whether you want it to walk faster than that, because you know, then we could get some terminator case scenario. I guess it would be nice, you know, to have a safety. It's a nice safety feature to make sure that you can always outrun the robot. So maybe we can keep it at like five kilometers per hour limit. So <laughs> let's not do faster than that. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I actually didn't really... Okay, let's compare the feet. Oh my god! So these are like completely flat? Okay, okay, so... Wow. Yeah, so these are flat and th there is no like movement in the foot. It's just like lifting it up, moving and placing down. While this one does actual steps. See, like it lifts the toes. Okay. I mean, I don't know how much that is for like stability and actual performance versus just making it more human-like. But it's important it looks like human because, you know, you don't want the lo robots to be scary. Like so something like this, imagine like telling the average person they have to have something like this in their home. Like, no way. It has to look like friendly and it has to be like approachable. So it does matter that it has, you know, feed that look more human-like. But I'm wondering like how much of that is actually for the, you know, to make the robot work better. 10 kilo weight reduction, that is pretty huge. Without sacrifice. I mean, yeah, it's like 10 kilo weight reduction means the robot can run, you know, the batteries can last long, longer so the robot doesn't need to recharge all the, all the time. It also means that it can walk faster, you know, as we can see. And probably that when it falls, it doesn't damage itself as badly because, you know, if it weighs a lot, the falls are going to be harder. So a lot of benefits to sacrificing the weight. Also cost, you know, you need less materials, obviously. Bro, it can do a better squat than most people. If you go to a gym, like most people have worse squat form than this. So, man, like, at what point are, are the robots just entirely better than humans, you know? They're having an AI neural network that's smarter than every single person, plus a body that's better than the human body. I mean, we're like less than two years away. It's crazy. And the hand movement. I wonder like, it, okay, so this is probably more than two, uh, two years away, but like, I guess within four or five years, we will see robots breaking all the human, um, you know, weightlifting records, like bench, squat, deadlift. Like, obviously these robots are, like, this is still the very, very early stage. And, you know, the robot is happy to be standing with its own weight and maybe carrying some, you know, five kilo, 10 kilo item. But like, imagine a robot deadlifting thousand kilograms. It's like, man, it will happen one day. Bro, the head, like, this is, this is crazy. It feels so real. Dude, like, how long before we can have a robot that prepares your meal because once that happens that's a massive market you know like food delivery like uber eats it's it's still quite expensive and it takes time and you know the like when it's cooked like packaged like that it's not as healthy as being cooked at home so like having a robot a personal robot cooking your food every single day with fresh ingredients like that's a huge value add man we're not so far away Dude, this manipulation of the egg is crazy. <laughs> like, 
lot of people can't even do that. Yeah, the cyber tracks in the back house. You know, it's, you know, Tesla is masterful at their marketing. Like they always manage to include their other products and stuff in the background, just making sure users are, you know, people are always hyped for what's coming next. Now, obviously, Cybertruck was released in the last, you know, two weeks, I think. So, like, to see Tesla having another massive product release, this is interesting because Elon is betting on all fronts, you know. He has, obviously, XAI, the new research company, which released Grog, which is good given that it was trained on, like, two or three months only compared to, you know, ChatGPT and, like, Anthropic and uh, OpenAI having years to train their models. So, Elon is betting on the LLM side, on the neural network side. Obviously, all of the cars with the full self-driving have amazing data for AI, like visual data that no other company has. But also, he's betting on the robotics front, which, like, does he really have any competition? You can say, like, Boston Dynamics, but all of those robots are pre-programmed. You know, they are, the movements are hard-coded in. Tesla bots and Optimus is running on neural networks and it's using the full, full self-driving models to navigate the environment to actually see. So like, as far as I know, there isn't really any competi competition to these uh, Optimus robots and definitely nobody is improving as fast because again, this was two months ago, this update of the better, you know, uh, better uh, hand manipulation, like which was the clip, like this, you know. It's seeing the hands. This clip was really sick. Using vision to see the joints. Like this was two months ago. And now we have an entirely new robot that looks better, moves faster, has much better uh, hand control. Like Tesla is still super underrated when it comes to AI. Like people are, everybody's looking at open AI, you know, uh, meta AI, Microsoft, Google, Anthropic, but Tesla is still a major player and they're honestly leading the way in robotics. So if they pull off an Optimus robot in three, four years, like that could be, like Elon said this himself, that could be a product that's ev that has even more demand than the cars. Because like not everybody, like if you think about every single person on this planet, not everybody has a car, but everybody needs a robot and some people will want two robots or three robots. So like, this could be in a few years, <laughs> in a few years, this could be an even bigger market than the automotive market. So Tesla is super well positioned. And of course, you know, typical Elon fashion, we have to have some dance, some meme material, but man, like, this is crazy. So like, <laughs> Guys, if you want to stay on the cutting edge of AI and robotics, please subscribe because I always snipe these news within a few hours. This was literally like three hours ago, so make sure to subscribe. It really helps out a lot.